Gentlemen, today on Administrative Results, we are going over the Swedish military rifle known as the AK-5. There's like 50 guys over there. They're all rushing Alpha. <sighs> Dude, I know you're on the toilet. I got you. <laughs> I got your ass. Make sure you wipe. And make sure you also <laughs> like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are a sacrifice to the algorithm. Got it, got it. Which who enjoys a beautiful sunset. We're all gonna make it, bros. We're all gonna make it. Now, the AK-5 came about to replace the AK-4, go figure. If you're wondering, hey, admin, that doesn't look like an AK platform, and you would be right. It does not look like a standard AK platform. It looks more NATO-ish, more of the Western world. And what it is, is that the Swedes have this term, it's like automatic uh, carabiner or whatever it is. In weird, funny Swedish words, the Nordic language is very confusing and not Latin-based to me, so I can't understand the premise. But with that uh, out of the way, the AK, it's essentially that. It's assault rifle five for what they would call it. So this replaced what was the licensed version of the G3 that the Swedes were using, and I believe they still use variants of it here and there in their military. And what they have now is a 5.56 being used in their military for the most part. You guys admiring my uh, sweet Swedish desert camo that I got from Americana Piping Apparel, sponsor of the channel. Wow, what fantastic young zoomers they are. I said, wow, they have excellent taste in camo, excellent tape in military clothing. I said, they're one of the best, one of the best. I love those guys greatly. They take good care of me on this channel. They will take great care of you as a customer. They are fantastic and they are funny and you should go follow them on social media as well. I don't know why they even sponsor me because they are so funny themselves, but I am happy that they do. So link for them will be down in the description below. Go check them out. So big thank you to those guys. We also have to thank American Heart for Gold. Now, American Heart for Gold, if you like precious metals such as brass and lead, I think you'll like the option to have, you know, some other financial investments. And American Heart for Gold offers that because in times of uncertainty, you know, it's good to have some precious metals. The American dollar is also being contested on the world stage. So maybe having a little bit of those extra precious metals, silvers and such is not a bad idea. They wanted me to tell you on your first order when you close them, you're gonna get $5,000 of free silver. That's a pretty good deal from what I can tell. I'm not good at math, but that sounds like a good deal. Links for American Heart for Gold give me the description down below. Go check them out. Big thank you to them for also sponsoring this video. Uh, um, so this AK-5 is going to be an amalgamation of different things going on. So if you're wondering what the base gun for an AK-5 is, you are most inquisitive. Good for you. So essentially what happened is back in the day, the FN, FNC was being tried out by a bunch of different folks and the Swedes were like, hey, let's give this thing a go. And essentially FN licensed the FN, FNC to the Swedes and the Swedes picked it up and they modified it to their liking to fit their big old Nordic fighting style of being in the Arctic tundra. Winter is coming. They're essentially like Northmen. It's like, it'd be like Game of Thrones, Northmen, they need a gun that can fight beyond the walls. 
So that's what the Swedes did. What a nerdy reference for a nerdy channel. Wow. Wow, an amazing reference. So that's essentially what the Swedes did, and that brings us to here. So they picked it up in the mid 80s to replace the AK-4, bringing us to the AK-5. Now the AK-5 is kind of like I would equate it to an M16 of the American standards. And as time would progress, the Swedes realized that the AK-5 was lacking in certain modularity aspects, and they wanted to upgrade it and eventually get to the AK-5C. Many of you should be familiar with the AK-5C if you've ever played Battlefield 4. The AK-5C in that game garnered quite a cult following amongst the nerdy crowd, me being one of them, and I'm sure amongst you too. Now, what we have going on here is the upper is going to be an AK-5 and the lower is going to be reminiscent of the AK-5C. Now, I should give you guys a, a further disclaimer. So what this video is supposed to be, I will say that this video is supposed to be a overall look at the gun. This isn't necessarily a review. To be quite frank with you, there's not a lot of content on YouTube on the AK-5. And even if there was, I want to do it for my own sanity because I'm a, a dirty YouTuber. I'm a dumb gun guy. I'm a silly goose, most importantly. I'm not telling you how to get an AK-5, but you should stay to the end because I'll tell you how to get an AK-5. Okay, so as I was saying, this AK-5 is cool, but it's not mine. It belongs to my dear friend, Otter Weapons. We're, all right, Joel, get over here. Joel, thanks for coming back on the channel. Absolutely. Good thanks. to have you back. You have a very impressive, fun clone collection. We call you the General of the Clone Wars. General Kenobi. This is going to be your AK-5 that you painstakingly, is what you told me, built out. It said it took you a number of years to get all this particular parts out here. And I just wanted to give you the chance to go over the gun yourself real quick. And okay. you, can, uh, you can answer some of my questions that I have sure. if they pop up. I bought this rifle probably about 12 years ago maybe a little bit longer, on arms list. Actually paid for a rifle and it showed up at an FFL. Mm -hmm. I didn't get scammed. Paid about $2,500 for it and it was a standard FNC, like from Al Pacino in Heat. Picked it up on arms list for about $2,500 and had it in a five FNC configuration for a while. Like you, I was a Battlefield 4 guy. I had to try. I was on the forums a bunch, FAL files, Uzi talk, just looking for parts. The Swedes treat all gun parts like firearms. So that's why you can never find the parts mm -hmm. is because they don't export them and how they get here, way beyond me. Started off basically just trying to track down the parts. When the gun was imported, they had to cut the rifle grenade ring off. So you just had a flash hider. The handguard modified it so we could put a light on it. The optic setup, and then the coolest part, this is an actual trigger module off an AK-5C that I got from uh, a Swede, pretty awesome. That was really and, cool. And then the uh, AK-5C stock, the sling, the selector, the grip, and the winter trigger guard. All that's left in this gun that's really an FNC is the upper receiver, mm -hmm. the bolt carrier group, and the barrel. Okay. Everything else is a Swedish part or a made part. It took me about 10 years of collecting parts to uh, make it happen. It was not the easiest clone. Right. And I am one of very few in the U.S. that have one, so yes. pretty cool. How many do you think are floating around clones or? Probably less than a dozen yeah. where there's actual parts. Now there is talk that Sweden is going to go away from the AK-5 and potentially somebody like Apex Gun Parts might be able to get like the kits. The rear sight is actually an AK-5 rear sight. So I actually took the FNC sight, cut it off, and then re-welded a AK-5C. Because this was coated in 89, it wasn't Cerakote at the time. So it's got this really unique Swedish glossy green. Yeah. So you'll kind of see a difference. Um, How similar is that paint job to say a Swedish K? So pretty close. The green is very indicative of the Swede weapons. Yeah. So, and they also made these in black too. So sometimes you'll see, mm -hmm. and I think we saw pictures of not, I don't know if they were FNCs or they were black AK-5s in Ukraine. So mm -hmm. they, are, they are finding their ways on the battlefield still. And the only thing I couldn't find was the uh, AK-5 dust cover, which basically has like a rib here. That's the only Gotcha. But then the charging handle is big. And then this is an actual Aimpoint CS, which is the Swedish military optic that Midway had a bunch on blowout for like $300. And then my friend at Aimpoint gave me the mount, the B&T mount. Mm -hmm. And so now we've got a red dot on it. So do your worst, sir. Thanks, Joel. Thanks for stopping by again. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Of course. Joel forgot to mention his light setup real quick. So uh, he essentially, did you drill into this? Yeah, so I basically just opened it up with a with a Dremel and okay. then used an M-Lock uh, Magpul rail mm -hmm. and then just threw the mod light on there and then just used some Ranger bands to hold the tape switch. I guess he covered it then. We're good. So cool thing about this gun too is that the grip itself is going to be a 249 grip. It's just in green. How fun is that? Wow. Wow. Okay. I will say that the Aimpoint CS optic really is pretty cool. Uh, I like that the adjustment is very simple. You can either dial up or down on the bottom and then you decide 
we'll get some good b-roll shots of it but the side has a built-in tab and i like that more than what the current aimpoint optics are for adjustment for whatever reason i saw that and i was like okay this is pretty cool i like this a lot then you have the top picatinny mount on the red dot itself which i think is really cool for modularity now it is interesting seeing the swedes go through a similar thing that the americans went through where m16 is kind of getting outdated so they need to make it a little bit more modern and do we want to get a whole new gun or do we just make what we have that is tried and true even more up to date right you know m16 to m4 ak5 ak5c so i think that is pretty neat and pretty cool so seeing the upgrades that they have makes a lot of sense coming into the modern era. So this being a NATO gun in the Swedes having deployed to a number of countries, this has been battle proven and combat tested. So that does make it cool. This gun has a lot of pop culture. I think we all think of Detective Hannah. So the AK-5 is not only battle tested and proven in that sense, being the global war on terror with the Swedes deploying to the Middle East, guns popping up now in Ukraine, different conflicts in the 90s. This thing is a pop culture icon as well in the sense that a lot of video games picked it up. The Krieg 6, Call of Duty, AK-5C, Battlefield 4, you know, dice being in Sweden. So of course, they're probably going to make the gun just a banger because in that game it is it's a good loadout for an engineer class and then what we have too is movies mainly with the fnc heat but you don't really see any modern ak5 movies coming out so the reload of battlefield 4 is 1.85 seconds on the ak5c let's see if i can do it faster now i don't have a bolt release on this i'll have to use the charging handle oh That's a funny reload. How fast was that? So what is the F and, F and C? Well, not far off. So what is the AK-5 like to run and gun with? Well, oh, I can't do that. We'll get to that in a second. Well, so to briefly go over what it's like to shoot with, I will say gun is heavy, so the recoil is very nominal. The trigger pull is not bad. It's not great, but for military trigger, it's acceptable in my opinion. Ooh, it gets hot. As you can see how I touch that top of the rail. So pretty much you're just right onto this plastic for your life to really get a good grip on the gun. Uh, the ergonomic of that saw grip may not be to your liking. It may, it may be to your liking. It's up to a user preference. I don't mind it. I kind of like it. The gun is fun to shoot. It's another 5.56 five, gun to shoot. So it's not as exotic as a lot of the other guns we get on the channel, you know? We're using some very fun exotic guns here, but as a military rifle, I think it's really cool and it is aesthetically pleasing. Now, in a second, we'll go ahead and break it down, but I did want to talk about some issues we were having. You should see by now, Colton will have edited in all the uh, mess ups when I'm talking about this. God dang it! So there's a number of malfunctions. So what kind of malfunctions? Well, we were getting a lot of failure to extract and then a double feed. So it would fail to extract the case and then it would start to feed in the next round, causing me a double feed in that sense. So I'd have to strip the mag, rack, rack, get that case out of there. Thankfully, it'd strip out pretty easy, toss mag in and go back to work. It's happening on some mags, not on the others, but overall, it started to work. Thankfully, this isn't my duty gun. If it was doing that and it was my duty gun, I would be very mad. Now, something to note, this gun will lock back on an open bolt, especially with these mags we're using, but there is no bolt catch on this lower, that being because this isn't a true AK-5C. Now the AK-5s, they didn't have that feature until they brought out the AK-5C where they added that. Joel went ahead and he added in a faux bolt catch just because there was a hole there, so you can kind of see where that comes into play. But if you put in a fresh mag and you want to drop that gun, there's nothing to drop it with, right? Minus the charging hand. That is something to take of note. Now, real quick, we'll blaze with the manual of arms. Manual of arms being very simple on this gun since there's no bolt catch. You have your mag release, then you have your safety. Safety has no click because it is a full auto selector. Uh, gun's sadly not full auto. There is no click. And then, of course, your trigger. Now, let's go break down the gun. Now, one thing, one thing I should have mentioned real quick is going to be the mags. The mags are compatible with a, uh, they're NATO mags, so you can use them with your AR-15s. There are FN-specific mags that came with the FNC or the AK-5, so those are what we have in the gun right now. Now, what I wanted to do real quick is, let's break her down and show you what the internals are like. All right, let's break her down real quick. Weapon is safe. Okay. So to break her down, we have two pens. 
kind of reminiscent of an AR-15, if you're comfy with that, which I am. It feels like home. We pop these bad boys. Boom. Separate upper from lower. We'll do this. We'll make my life a little bit easier so they're not married together. So now we have our lower right here. Take a look inside. You can see that fire control group. Very interesting. Very simple looking. So the FNC was on Grantham, and uh, he was doing that ice test that he likes to do. And when it was all frozen up, it did really good. And that makes sense for a gun that is designed to withstand such heavy cold. Maybe that's why the Swedes picked it, because they are the fighting in the Northmen. Come on, Mr. Papa. Slide her out. Cool. All right, knob comes out. Big old nice textured knob. And then, is she hot? Is she hot? Can I touch her? Thankfully, the gun is not hot anymore. But now we have the guts of the weapon. We have our long stroke gas piston system and what looks like very reminiscent of an AK lug style bolt, which is really cool. And then we have the firing pin in there. It's kind of like, floating. it's floating. It's a little flaccid in there. Can I say, can I say, can I say that? Okay, I'm a child, I'm sorry. And then we have that spring back here, okay? So I know it's all these big gunsmith words. Oh, spring, oh, uh, we got you get, you get two bolt, and we got a bolt, and we toss her back in, and she locks back into place. Gun is very simple, and I can see why they went with such a design, maybe for fighting in yet again that cold, cold land up north. Put it on the dirty tailgate. So then you have our upper, right? Pretty simple, pretty simple to take down, put back together, which I like, I think it's pretty cool. I like that it has that side knob thing, it's very, Familiar. Yeah, we gotta line her up in the hole. Okay, we line her up in the hole. Colton, how's the lighting? Looks nice. And I got my hands dark. I gotta get my lead levels checked, dude. Been doing too much. Is admin results natty or not? Lead level check. All right, now we're going to do a little comparison. So the fire control group on the AK-5 looks very similar to a lower fire control group on the SCAR-16, or I guess what, a SCAR-17 as well. So that's really kind of neat. You can kind of see a lot of influence and nothing is new under the sun. So the original prototype for a SCAR-16 lower was just a FNC lower. So real quick on the stock manipulation, there's a little button down here. You pull that down and you push it down and then you can fold that stock up. Doesn't lock in, boop, pop her open. Good for armored vehicles. Now, earlier in the video, I hinted about acquiring your own Swedish AK-5. And well, to be honest, it's gonna take a little bit of crime. So let's dive on in and how to get one. So essentially what you're gonna need to do, you're gonna need to hire out some pretty young woman. She's gonna go have to target you're gonna have to do your homework, target a specific lonely Swedish soldier that is uh, down bad. Use that woman to seduce that soldier, lure him back to her lair, at which point you'll knock him out with some roofies and then you could steal his Swedish AK-5. Now here comes the tricky part, getting it home. You're gonna need to charter a smuggling vessel of sorts with a shady smuggler character. He's gonna be a shady smuggler who completed the Kessel Run in 12 parsecs. It's gonna be impressive. Now, you charter that vessel, you take it home and you bring home the booty. That's essentially, I mean, that's how I would do it if I'm being honest. But other than that, it's pretty hard to get these bad boys here. You're gonna have to do some uh, wheeling and dealing around the world and figure out how to get all the parts necessary to actually do it. So the Swedish AK-5, man, the gun is freaking cool, I will say. If you're a big fan of this platform, then uh, I hope this episode was a treat to you. Aesthetically, the gun is pleasing. It has a lot of pop culture value to it. It is a cool military weapon that has been battle proven now. So there's a lot that goes into a firearm like this and it tells a cool story. It tells a story of service for a different nation's people that have used it. And it has a rarity factor with not many of these floating around in the United States, them making it, as Larry Vickers would say, moon rock rare. So getting a Swedish AK-5 on the channel is a world treat. If you're someone out there that has access to an AK-5, See, hey, let me know. I'd love to do a video on that bad boy, even if I have to go to Sweden. Bad boy counter. I know we're at the end. I don't know how many I said this entire video. Gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are a sacrifice. Your comments are a sacrifice to the algorithm. God, a God of what you enjoy, Swedish military history. If you want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, Patreon, next one, support the channel as well as merchandise. I have nothing else for you. Roll the bloopers. Are you filming? Stop! Hey, Joel, why does gun suck? <laughs> Y'all wanna see a magic trick, dude? Put those in the bloopers. Yeah, hold um, on one sec. Always a plane. There's always a plane, dude. Always a plane when we're filming, it shows up. And now this part has to end up in the bloopers. <laughs> God! That's a joke. I'm not gonna go to prison violating FAA rules. Oh.
If you're wondering what AK stands for, if you're looking at this thing and saying, hey, wait a second, Admin, that doesn't look like an AK at 47 platform. Well, guess what, viewer? Viewer. And you'd be right to ask that thing because as this is be what we would call the automatic, essentially it's fuck, dude. And what they have now is a f <laughs> winter is brew. Uh, that's a really bad idea. I thought I heard it's like tires from a distance. You have a very impressive fun cone col What? Wow, he did it. Now, gun. We haven't shot it yet, so I can't go over that. I don't like it. I don't mind. Overall, the gun in. Jumbo, we also. Don't let it. My God, there's a lot of sweat in my eye. Holy sh. So, this. I'm gonna ambush him, ready? So, real quick on the stock mini minute. Thank you. Use that woman to. Oh, oh, what the f oh. That's all I got. <clears throat>